Hello guys, Zuljin here and welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. Guys, thank y'all so much for all the support on the last episode and the series. As always, if you enjoy the series, don't forget to hit that like button for me to show you support for the series. And you can also subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. So I've got something a little bit different that I'm doing today, you guys. Well, not that different. I mean, I'm taming stuff, but I'm taming something that I never tamed before. And it's something that I've been needing because I really want to start getting into kibble. And I've got a little plan to start taming T-Rexes to be bodyguards for the island. But they happen to need eggs from these guys. So I figured why not get a big one. <laughs> 100. <laughs> This sucker is big. So if we tame this one flawlessly, it is going to be something else. So let's go ahead and put this prime meat on it. We just got three. And I know they eat rotten meat. So I'm not too sure how the uh, the whole prime meat works on it. Do they eat prime meat? And if so, how much does it affect their taming? I'm going to go ahead and put 84 Rottens on this guy, too. It doesn't look like he's taming with Prime. No, but he's going to start eating that rotten meat. Well, eat that's something. You would, I would have never thought. So he's going to have to eat a lot of times in order to get to down to, um, to where we need him. Uh, <laughs> but, hey, it's rotten meat, I suppose. I don't know. I guess there's the, the only way to really make kibble for this guy, I believe... Uh, I'm not even sure the kibble recipe for this guy, but that would be the only way to accelerate this. I never realized that they were um, they were that difficult to tame. But oh well, I got plenty of rotten meat. I've been collecting some with Guamahave over a while and making narcotics with it at the farm and stuff. But uh, hopefully I can keep this guy alive around here because, man, this is going to be something else. So anyway, I'm going to do my best to, uh, to keep this guy tamed. And um, I ha I ha stay tuned, you guys. We'll be back. All right, you guys, it was coming down to the wire a little bit. Uh, as far as the amount of narcotics I had, I didn't bring any because I was just expecting to uh, to tame him pretty quick with prime meat, but that wasn't a thing. So I went ahead and just gathered up a little bit of materials here, and I made myself a mortar and pestle so I can make narcotics. And let's see, we should have enough for one more here. And this is going to secure that we have plenty, which I already used like, uh, I think, five or six on him. So that did help out. And uh, he's he's really almost there. As long as we have him, I don't know if narcotics change the amount of taming effectiveness, but I'm going to use some anyway. So right now we're at 87.3. He's, he's going to gain 43 levels when he tames. Uh, unless something comes along, but one thing I noticed about the spawns, and I wonder if you guys have any experience with this, when you move around, like, you see how that scorpion just spawned right there? When you move around a little bit, it's the only time I see that. Um, and when you don't move, you tend not to get any problems with spawning. That guy is only level 44. It should be fine. As long as he doesn't come over here, that's fine. And our scorpion's almost done. Um, so just a couple more minutes, man. I got to think of a name. <laughs> there he is, you guys. <laughs> tamed. And that's our first one. I've never tamed a scorpion before. And, uh, man, I'm going to have to name him something really, really cliche, right? Well, we already got the Wu-Tang Clan going. And he is kind of part of the, the, <laughs> the, uh, the cartel here. So let's see. He is, he's, he's orange enough to consider him Fred, man. <laughs> so he's not the Wu-Tang Clan, but he's, he's associated. So change name, Red, Red Man, <laughs> even though he's Red Scorpion. But anyway, he's going to be, he's going to be in the, he's going to be a sidekick to the Wu-Tang Clan. Uh, <laughs> So anyway, it's all good. So we don't have a saddle for him yet, and I'd, I'd like to make one as well, but we're going to have to get this guy across the bridge first. So I guess I'm going to make my way across the island and get back. And we made it back safe and sound. <laughs> now to find him a saddle. All right, you guys, so I got my saddle on him. It's actually a ramshackle saddle that I found at the, um, at the compound. 
Uh, pretty good stats on it. 34.5 armor and 65.8 durability. I've never seen one of these things wear out, so I don't know what's up with the durability score on it, but I suppose that's relevant. Anyway, I took the one, there was two of them, and I took the one with higher defense, so there you go. He's been holding up really, really well. I didn't notice. Look at his stats. So I've, I've given him a level, actually. Well, two levels, both in melee damage, and it brought him up to like 403% melee damage. From what I can tell and from what I've read, Torpor stacks with damage. So I'm thinking that the more damage I do, the more melee damage I put on him, the more Torpor he would give. Now, I went ahead and knocked out this scorpion and this turtle, I'm sorry. And as you can see, he has like 708 Torpor left. So what I want to do is I'm trying to just trying to mitigate damage, trying to test out what's going on to see what I do. Uh, let's see, his health right now is 771 and Torpor is 700. So let's go ahead and hit him once, 771 and 700. Okay, and that's it. And now we'll check it again. So 771, oh, he barely took any health. But look at the Torpor damage I did, almost 100. So that's pretty darn good. Uh oh, we got a raptor. Uh, this is an experiment. Can you get off it, please? Thank you, Red Man. Okay, so <laughs> 84.7 health. Let's hit him one more time. 24. So about 60 damage per 100 torpor is currently what he's at. I'm hoping that I can get a little bit more accurate after I give him a couple levels. So I think I want to train him a little bit and try the same thing on this guy. I don't know if the Torpor is affected, like the damage resistance, based on if it's a, a turtle or whatever. But I'm going to try it out on a few different mobs and see what happens. What do we have here? Let's see how we hold up against raptors. <laughs> well, that was easy sauce. Were they mate boosted? No, these might be a little bit higher level and mate boosted though. Yeah, these are definitely mate boosted. But we gained that level though. Training's not bad at all with these guys. I don't know if I'm ready to take on anything big, but <laughs> so far the little guys ain't a problem. Alright you guys, I've been doing some serious scorpion training. Redman is now level 150 with a melee damage of 538.4, okay? And before he had like 400. The turtle, the test subject, is around the same level as the last one. 878 health with a torpor of about 700. Let's hit him and see what kind of damage we do. Alright, one hit. Alright. So comparatively, he's down to 797 right now, which means I hit him for probably around 80 points of damage, something like that. 
but the tour pours at 937 from 700. So I did 237 points of tour pour damage and about 70 points of damage to health, 70, 80 points of damage to health. Yeah, about 80 points of damage to health. And that is compared to 60 damage last time and 100 torpor. So 100 more points in melee or 120 points in melee uh, probably pretty much doubled the torpor damage, which makes me think that I should keep pumping damage because you do a lot less physical damage than you do. This guy is going to be great to tame with. I mean, <laughs> I think I'll try to tame some other stuff. I wonder if I could knock out something big. I hope you all enjoyed the little montage. So what I'd like to do now is probably try to knock something out that I have no business trying to tame. Uh, so let's see here. Um, oh, with the scorpion. Uh, I'm just going to finish off my little fire right here. All right. Let's go down. And there was a mammoth over there. Now, mammoths are pretty hard to fight due to the fact that they're kind of, uh, well... They have the knockback is really, really hard to deal with. By the way, I've been taming Dillo, so I'm going to take him back and name him after more Wu-Tang Clan members. Uh, but, well, there's no more really Wu-Tang Clan members, but they have a Wu-Tang name generator I've been using. Uh, I actually streamed a little bit between the, uh, the first part of this video and the parts that I'm recording now. And I did, uh, I ended up taming another couple T-Rexes too. So, let's see here. So this guy is what level? He's 112. This is going to be a really, really, really hard test. But we're going to try it anyway. Alright. So the thing I want to do is just kind of hit and run. Because their damage is ridiculous. The good thing is... Oh, wow. Now you see? That don't even make no sense. There's no way this guy should have been able to hit me like that. All right, we got a couple licks. He hits, <laughs> he hits pretty darn hard. The knockback is the worst thing because I can't get multiple hits in. Although, it kind of helps because I do need a hit and run more. But I don't know if I should be waiting this long between hits. All right, I did get a hit on him. Uh oh, trouble! Big, 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 big trouble! All right, let's just do this. Oh, he is going to fight them. I might as well help him. This is my test subject. All right. Sabertooth, it looks, it looks like we're all right here. And I gained another level. Hurry, melee damage. 570 now. Beautiful. Okay, let's get another lick in. We still want you to put you to sleep. Although he did take damage, so now I have to be even more careful. Uh, uh Okay, so when he swings, I can actually time the swing. So the knockback is kind of negated, if that makes sense. Did I hit him? <laughs> it's timing is everything. Oh, come on. I think I did hit him. I don't see the blood. So it's kind of... Oh, did you really just have to drop one right there? All right. That was a good lick. Come on, baby. You know you want to let me. <laughs> you know you want to let me put you to sleep. It's more fun. More fun like this. All right. Thank you for the knockback. I'm down to about half health right now. Watch this. This is another good thing about these scorpions. Remote use item. Here we go. <laughs> they swim pretty good too. All right. So I just cranked up a lot of health right there. Oh, he's killing my Dillos. No! Oh, killed my Dillo. That's all right. I just stung that Dillo one time and, <laughs> and dropped a stack of meat on it. It was relatively easy. Alright, did I uh did I hit him right there? There we go. Alright, I'm gonna have to go for another little uh <laughs> This is proven to be 
a little difficult. But I mean, it was a big mammoth, so let's take some more uh, rotten meat. See how fast his health goes up when you remote use on him? <laughs> Too late, bruh. I just gained 500 hit points. All right. We got to take him back around here. Bring it around town. Come on, let me stick you. <laughs> Longest fight ever. I have to agree that uh, that tranquilizer would still be fast for this specific application. Only because it's a mammoth. All right. Still, still so bad, man. I'm gonna have to eat some more, some more rotten meat here. Oh, wait, did we get him? <laughs> Finally. So I don't know how many hits that was, but it was a lot. Wow. Well. We kind of needed another high-level mammoth. This is a 112. This is ridiculously high. So, taming effectiveness, I don't know. I'm going to have to feed this guy some berries, and we'll see. <laughs> Look at the stats on him, though. Um, oh, no wonder. We had to do 4,200 torpor and damage, which, yeah, that's quite a bit. Uh, with the knockback is what made it crazy. Stamina, 840. Health, 3,000. Yeah, not that bad. I think I'm going to go grab some narco berries and stuff and tame this guy. All right, guys. So I want to be able to tame that mammoth. And I've been messing around with my form for a good little while. When I looked at the wiki to see if there was any like other taming stuff that I didn't think about for herbivores, it seems that the mammoth's like long grass. So I went ahead and I grabbed some long grass out of yeah here. So I got uh, I got a stack of long grass with me. And it also likes medjo berries. So I did edit the contents of my form a little bit. Now that I got my stimulants online and plenty of narcotics, I went ahead and changed my setup to three narco berry forms then I have two stem berry forms then I have tinto berries medjo berries which I'm gonna grab uh, if I could get close enough to do it <laughs> medjo berries I'll go ahead and take uh, ah, heck I'll take all 225 um, the azul berries and amara berries so let's go ahead and grab some narco berries too because why not? That's what we farmed them for. All right, I'm encumbered. So Amberhawk should still be able to carry me. Hopefully, we're going to fly out there and... Uh, oh, man. <laughs> A little slow. That's okay, though. We're going to fly out there and see how some of this stuff works on the mammoth. All right, guys. Let's see what long grass does for a mammoth. He is eating it. He's eating quite a bit of it, too. <laughs> I don't know how much of it he's going to eat. So I suppose... I don't know if this is better than Mejo's, though. You know what I mean? Like, that was quite a bit of taming percentage just for the little bit, but I don't know. It is a really, really high-level mammoth. But let's just see. At 99.6 taming effectiveness, <laughs> currently we have... 55 levels increase so this guy would be like a level 167 mammoth we're not gonna get the 99.6 i don't think but i'm curious to see if long grass even affects the way taming effectiveness goes down because it's a premium crop you know i don't know i wish this Dorn trike would get out the way get out of here trike i'm busy <laughs> so yeah we'll uh we'll monitor it and see how it goes you guys well guys it's gone I had to go run and get some more long grass, and unfortunately, I think that bird that I just saw fly away probably killed it. What level are you? That was a big mammoth, man. 44. Waste. Well, I'm gonna at least destroy your face. Get him, Dillos. <laughs> My Dillos that I tamed earlier attacking him too. We're going to have to take them back. There we go. 
Nice, and my dillos are just eating him. That's what you get, sucker. Stupid bird eating my mammoth. Ha <laughs> ha! That's the good Wu Tang clan. All right. Oh, that wasn't even my dillos. <laughs> Oh, there's a big dillo fight now. Get him, guys. <laughs> wow. You don't mess with the Wu-Tang Clan. Now, now they're after that, too. My lord. <laughs> so we got our dillos back, you guys. And I got a couple names for them. Uh, not access inventory. Change name. <laughs> the arrogant ambassador. <laughs> and hold on. Oh wait, I keep pressing the wrong buttons. And this one's gonna be the fearless prophet. <laughs> I love this Wu Tang name <laughs> name generator. That's awesome. All right, so we got two more poopers for the field, and they're already creating. Oh, what's going on here? We got a big battle. So my new bodyguards it looks and looking like are taking care of business. Phineas almost jumped over the wall to get into the fight. Uh looks like um It looks like one of them, Rexanne, took a little bit of damage. Let's see. Oh, only a couple points. Nothing that we have to worry about. I've been bringing up their melee damage too. So I got two of them yesterday on stream. And I called one of them the Sarcastic Wanderer and one of them Butang. <laughs> Those were the two names that the chat kind of helped me came up with and stuff. So uh, well, I need to get some more saddles so I can get uh, so I can position them better and stuff. Because as you see, they get all tangled up. And I think only Rexan has a saddle right now. Let's see. Yeah, no, it's actually only Stripe. No, Rexan has a saddle too. Good. All right, let's make those couple saddles. I just crafted up, well, harvested some fiber. I wish I could craft fiber. <laughs> that would be great. Okay, and we should be able to make two of them. We don't need anything special, so... Rex saddle... Rex saddles, there we go. Craft. What are we missing for the second one? Looks like hide. We have plenty of that. Let's grab some right quick. Um, Do you have any sassy? No, you only have seven. I think Phineas and Guamahave have a ton. They should. Yeah. <laughs> I would say so. Tons and tons of the stuff. Hide is not one of the things we struggle with, ladies and gentlemen. Carry weight's probably the only thing that we really struggle with. Uh, let's do a couple more hundred hide, and then we'll make that last wreck saddle. And there we go. I hope I could carry both of them. Looks like it. Yeah, my weight's only 114. Bam. I am a little encumbered, but I should still be able to get there all right. Uh, but we'll move those around. And I'm, I'm ultimately thinking, I was originally thinking 8... But I might be thinking six for now. My my ultimate goal, and I'll tell y'all what that is, and I'll let y'all give me some feedback on it because I'm interested in what you guys think. Somebody had mentioned a little while back that I should extend the base all the way out. And I think that's a lot of work, but ultimately, I don't know. I was also thinking about going up with the base and encasing it because I really don't like a little bit of my setup and the way it is. Like the turrets, for instance, they can kill dinos. Uh, so I don't want them killing my dinos and I would like this drug area encased and the poop form thing it was a great idea at first but now what's going on is the dillos or they're hard to move around and I'll show y'all what I mean uh, let's see excuse me Butang. let's put this one here there we go and Rexan already has no Rexan I moved the saddle over it there you go. All right. Everybody's got a saddle now. I actually need to level them up to melee. Yeah. All right. We're good. So, yeah. When you go down here, 
I'll just take a little shortcut. First of all, like I said, the turrets can kill the other dinos, or they can shoot the other dinos. And then, down here, it's really, really hard to group... Look at the poop, man. <laughs> um, it's really, really hard to group them because you can't drive them and they get all over the place so i'm gonna have to think about another design for this form up the hill is pretty good but at the same time it kind of needs to be a little bit more regulated because this is it's it's really not enough to protect them either we need something else maybe we'll make like a chicken coop they all don't necessarily need to be lined up but i thought it would have been fun due to their names and stuff but maybe it would be better if they were all put in the same place like all put in a like a pin or something like that i don't know if you guys have some design ideas let me know and y'all can't send pictures or link in the comments or anything so if you do have a good design that you made yourself or something that you want to show me even even a rudimentary drawing would be cool just tweet it to me the link for my twitter account is uh in the description below uh but that is going to be it for this episode you guys i hope y'all enjoyed watching and as always, thank y'all so much for all the support and the love on the series. If you did like the video, please make sure to hit that like button for me. It really, really helps me out. Uh, the support so far is tremendous. I've been growing so much, and it's all thanks to you guys. And also, if you're new to the channel, of course, you could subscribe, and that would be awesome. So thanks so much for watching, you guys. As always, this is Uljin signing off, and we'll see you next time. Let me see if I can remember how to wave. Yes! <laughs> see you guys next time. Peace!